welcome to another week. I'm pretty excited to be here and I'm pretty excited to show you some new stuff that I've been working on because what I've been working on this last week has been my collection. I am scheduling, I am scheduling. I've already scheduled it, it's already done. I have a collection scheduled for August 12th for a full shop update. And so I am getting down to the wire now. And I definitely had a schedule on my scheduling that I set for myself. So I'm doing great as far as that goes, but I'm finishing up my oil paintings. I have three oil paintings. I just finished up my elephant. Last week I showed the start of my elephants. And this week I finished up my elephant and I started the most adorable little panda bears going after these little macarons. Isn't he so cute? So I'm going to show you some of that process. And then I need some help with a few other things. I am working on my stickers and trying to really just nail down my sticker style and um, not sticker style, but more of like my digital style. I'm working on nailing down my digital style. Another thing that I'm working on this week and then I'm going to have you join out, join me is trying to get my office kind of organized. I guess don't even join me on that. I'm just gonna walk you through what it looks like and let's start brainstorming some solutions for this office space that I can afford right now on my budget because right now I'm not making a lot of money and any money I do need make needs to go back into the business in a sense of um, product materials that will help me grow my business. And my office, the way it looks and functionality really doesn't make a difference as far as how my business functions. It's just my brain. <laughs> so maybe it is all the same. Maybe it's related. I also want to give you something prettier to look at. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be really honest. It doesn't look great in my office. And when I record content in there, I'm like, oh God, this could look so much better. So I'm going to walk you through my space so you can help me figure out what can be done in here so it is more aesthetically pleasing to both of you and I. It helps my brain so I feel less cluttered and then we can move along and do some fun stuff and maybe work on remodeling my office. I will see if I can find some content because I recently did my studio and it did take me a while to get it all done. So I thought I'd have a full video done and I don't because it just took so long for me to finish it all. I just got my new bookshelves like two weeks ago and my new used bookshelves, Facebook Marketplace. And so now I feel like my studio really feels like a good space for me to be in. It feels really creative. It feels like a beautiful space. I wanna get my office there. So let's move along. Let's see what this week brings. I'm excited to have you here. Let's do this. All right, let's start out with the adorable little elephant. So I started this little darling last week and I really wasn't sure about this process because I had accidentally ordered the wrong aluminum composite material um, surface. So I normally prefer oil ground for the ACM and this time I had ordered the acrylic gesso which is what I use for my wood and so it was a big difference going from my little hippo who had like a slicker surface and less absorbent surface to this acrylic gesso on the elephant and I honestly thought I was going to just start this and redo it on the oil ground. But before I went that route, I figured let's go ahead and go in and do that second layer because sometimes that makes a huge difference. And I'm so glad I did because it turned out really nicely. I like the way it looks. I Once I started getting in on that second layer, I couldn't tell the difference between the surface material anymore. Uh, so I was happy that I went ahead and proceeded and moved forward. Another little challenge that I had with this guy is that I finished him up and I just couldn't tell what was missing. I just felt like he was missing something. And so I put him up against the hippo and looked at him for a while and tried to see what the difference was. And it was the ice cream. I was like, oh my gosh, the ice cream needs to be melting towards the front. It needs to be coming off and breaking that frame more. So I made the ice cream look like it's melting and coming down like the front of the canvas. And I'm so happy I did it because I think it turned out really cute panda time okay <laughs> all fun aside just kidding it's always fun right here's a little bit of paint mixing i decided to do something a little bit different this time i wanted to include the mixing of the paint in the bottom corner so you can see me do that because that's something that me 
<laughs> That's something that really helped me when I was learning and it still helps me. I love watching other painters mix their paint. So I wanted to show you the colors that I was mixing that I used for this little panda bear. So he's a pretty cute guy. This is just my first session on him. And so I'm really anxious to get back to him and get him finished up. And I will share that in next week's video. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to make sure that you get the alert for when I release that next video. And also while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, let me know what you think about these videos. I love getting some positive feedback, constructive feedback, so I can continue to improve and make them better for you and also have fun in the process. So my favorite part about this panda was the macarons though. They were so much fun. And again, I wanted to include the paint palette mixing so you could see all of the different colors. I did organize my palette in the order that I was going to be painting these macarons so I didn't have to think about it very much. When I used the, you can see here on the side, the stack of the macarons that I used, I actually stacked these, I turned them, I manipulated them, and then to the right, that's my hand-drawn ones and the colors that I wanted this to have. So I incorporated those, but I used the real life stacks as examples for the shadows and where those should go. But he's pretty cute, isn't he? One other thing that I did this week that might've caused a few distractions, but I think they were good distractions. I was feeling pretty, pretty crazy. Like that pent up energy that I just needed to get out and I didn't really know how to get that energy out because um, I didn't really have the energy to, to get it out. Does that make sense? Have you ever had that happen? Anyways, my friend contacted me on Friday and she had a little kitten that had come into the clinic and was found in the fire pit and was just sick, had like upper respiratory stuff going on and she needed to go into a foster home while she recovered from her stuff and while she came home. So within hours we had found her a home but she still needed to hang out with me for a few days while we recovered her and it's really fun to see the difference between the first day she was with me and then the last day before she left. I sent her home this morning and I mean, as much as we loved this little girl, we called her Dynamite. I, it's really, really fun and really rewarding to help these kittens stay social, trust people, and go into a new home that is hopefully gonna love them and take care of them forever. So I wanna share with you, I am trying out a little bit of a different style for my stickers, for my digital art. Um, but then like I kind of went back and did more of like a painting of the digital art and I guess, you know, I've spent a lot of time working on my style for my oil paintings and it doesn't translate for me exactly like it does for like, my stickers, my digital art. This is another one I just started this morning. So I'm just kind of working through these little guys, these ideas I have around here and different ways to illustrate my stickers and like maybe even stationary mugs, things like that. Some more of the product based art. Um, so I just, I don't know, I can't decide. And I think that like, what I really need to do is, look, I did this whole background here. What I really think I need to do is spend more time with it and it's probably going to be some kind of combination between these three right like I, that's not quite me that's that's not quite i do more what comes naturally to me is more like sketching lines things like that um i like the way that this guy is turning out so i'm just kind of trying to figure this out and we'll see how it goes because i've got to get my stickers done for my upcoming collection. So we'll see how it goes because I have got to get my stickers done for this collection. It is July 3rd today and my collection release is on August 12th. And I felt like I had all the time in the world and now I'm feeling like I don't. I'm finishing up my oil painting and then I'll have to be done with all the oil paintings and I need to scan those in. I'll start working on prints. I've got to determine if they're gonna become greeting cards or not or just prints. Um, I'm curious, like what do, What's everybody like? I know what I want to carry more of. I want to have more products. I want to have those fun little things that feed that little, that child in me. And, and in the fun, exciting way, not in like a toddler-like way, but just in that way of 
Like this is mine and this is a little thing that I just brought into my life and it makes me happy and maybe it's like a, a pen or a notebook or just a, a phone case or something like that that just makes everything just feel a little bit more special, a little bit more whimsical and that's kind of my goals but we'll see because all of those things require income when I mean like lots of income because I have to have let's say $500 to order enamel pens and then that's not even knowing if they're gonna do well or not I've considered doing a Kickstarter trying that I tried one a, a year ago but I did it more for like oil paintings and it just didn't do great but I'm curious maybe if I did like enamel pens and like notebooks notepads things like that if they would do better but I don't know, I'm rambling, but these are all my ideas and they're going around in my head and I guess I'm gonna share them with you because you're here and you're watching and you're with me and all that fun stuff. So we've just gotta kind of figure out how to make this happen. And I think that's the biggest challenge as an artist and as, you know, for me that I want to grow my business and I wanna have more product availability and I want that to be more accessible for people because not everybody can afford an original oil painting. Totally fine. Or not everybody wants one, not everybody has space. Or like I said, some of these things I'm creating aren't necessarily something that you might wanna hang in your living room, but maybe it's something that you want on your, you know, like your laptop, I don't know, case or screen or something like that, I don't know. My brain's spinning, <laughs> so. I think I went on a date. And that's okay, that's what I do. And I need to eat, and that's probably part of my issues here is that freaking starving. As promised, this is my office space. I'm going to take you around on a little journey around here so you can see a little bit of what I'm working with and what my obstacles are. And I would love to hear any feedback, any suggestions that you might have. Okay, I have my wide angle lens on for this to try to get more in it. And the room is not this large. My biggest obstacle is these slanted ceilings. It gives me very little wall space to work with on each side. Then I have this lovely window, but I've got this big tree right here. So I only get good light in this room during the winter. This corner right here is my husband's section where he works on his bones. And this is something that we might end up moving into his uh, game room. But for now, this is where it's at. My collection of boxes, because I reuse boxes to help decrease my impact on the environment. Shipping station. Um, booth station. More shipping and then other like crafty stuff since I do other things. This is kind of like my brain, I guess, is where everything goes. I made this thinking I would use it. I don't use it. I do use this to log events that are coming up that I need to apply for and if I've applied, etc. And then just kind of junk scattered about. I've got all these printers. This Cricut needs space behind it. I've got all my papers and paint party supplies, my computer desk, and then all of my print making stuff, scanner, print packaging, and then um, my printer. So it kind of gives you a roundabout of the room and I definitely need some help with it. I want to repaint. Yep, I want to repaint it. I think I want to do something lighter colored and help bring more light in here and maybe get a rug. And I do like to have this open space on the floor I'm not objecting to moving things into the center of the room, but I did do this so I could count prints, organize my inventory a little bit better since I don't keep inventory stocked in my office, since I take it back and forth between my office and my events. So let me know what you think, because I don't know what to do. I'm going crazy and this room's making me psycho. I will see you next week. See you later.